Hey guys, I'm Paul Lin from plcdojo.com and want to talk to you a bit uh, today about some PLC related stuff. And for those of you who have been in the field for a little while, this is a frustration that you have undoubtedly come across and experienced in your time. And that is programs or projects that are locked down, password protected, and nobody else can access them, download them, uh, change the program in the PLC, things like that. And the question is, what about you? Should you be out there locking down all of your work? So let's talk about that today. First of all, why in the hell are people running around locking down their work? Well, there are some good reasons, and there are some bad reasons, and there are some really dickish reasons, okay? Start with the good reasons. The good reasons are for security purposes. Now, I don't mean do it for bullshit reasons and call it security reasons. I mean bona fide security reasons. I've created a project for a critical system that is controlling nuclear manufacturing technology. And this program is something that could technically be considered a state secret. And I needed top secret clearance to even develop this project, okay? That kind of work exists. Should that be locked down? Yes, absolutely. My project, my PLC project, is running a power grid for a major metropolitan area. And this metropolitan area would be a, a, a tempting target for an enemy actor, such as an enemy state or a terrorist group or something like that. Should I lock down all of my work? Yes, I definitely should lock down everything I'm doing as much as humanly possible. Okay, that's all fair. I'm creating a project for a small company and I just don't want anybody else sticking their nose into my work. That's not really a good reason to lock down your work. Chances are, over time, locking that down is just going to cause other people problems and it's not going to save anybody from anything, yourself included. Another situation, well, if I don't lock down my programs, this company could replace me with another programmer and then they could just jump in and use all of my work and steal my job. So for job security, I'm going to lock down all of my programs. Not, absolutely not, a good reason to lock down your work. Are you good at your job or do you suck at your job? Okay, if you're good at your job, one, why are you worried about getting shit canned for? Two, even if you do get tanked, aren't you going to be able to find another work and move on? Three, do you really want to be where you're not wanted and not appreciated? Do you think that by holding all your programs hostage, you're going to extort money out of your employer and they're going to be forced to keep paying you? Uh, to, and keeping you around even though they don't want you. You know, and last thing is, you know, what is this like some kind of animosity that, well, if they fire me, I'll show them when they try to open my stuff, they won't be able to. All you're showing them is that you're a dick. And if anyone in the future ever calls them for a reference, they'll be sure to let those people know that you're a dick. Okay? So... For job security, that's about the stupidest thing I've ever heard. If you suck at your job, if you're a PLC programmer that sucks, and, and there are a lot of them out there, come to PLC Dojo, take my courses, let me help you become a better PLC programmer. Or, 
if you just don't have the discipline, don't have the talent, and you're just not willing to invest in practice or study or whatever it'll take to come up a level, get another job. But holding people hostage and doing all this, you know, hoarding and stuff like that for job security, I mean, if that's the level that you're at, you are in the wrong career field. Find something you're good at, do something you'll be appreciated for, and then you won't have to protect your job security. You'll just have it because you're really good and people always want good employees. Does that make sense? Other than that, I can't think of any other reason to be out there locking down all of your code. Personally, I have never locked down any project that I've ever worked because I'm working for some company as a contractor or as an employee. They were goodly enough to pay me money and let me join them in some endeavor and contribute to what they were doing. Okay, that sounds like some BS, but no, I'm genuinely grateful to anybody who pays me. Isn't that weird? And no, I don't want to sabotage them. I don't want to make them pay for it when they don't need my services anymore. On the contrary, when I leave, I want to leave graciously with a smile on my face, tip my hat, a handshake, turn over all of my work, walk them through everything where it was, and leave on great terms. And you know what? Most of the time, those people come back looking for me in the future. And whenever I need a, a reference or something, someone says, so, you know, where have you worked before? Well, I'm happy to tell them I was here, I was here, I was here. By all means, go talk to those people, see what they have to say. Even the ones that eventually got to a point where they said, well, Paul, we don't need you anymore. You know, well, how was he? What, how did he react when you told him that? The guy was a total pro. He, you know, offered to train the new guy and he did this and he did that. And I mean, wow, you know, he, he is a star. We just didn't have a place for him anymore or whatever the case, but he was fantastic. Um, look in my wake and that's a lot of what you're going to hear. Why? because I'm a professional. I want to be known as a professional, not a dick, right? So, you know, leaving a bunch of lockdown projects and then the company contacts me and, hey, Paul, we need to work on this project, but it's locked down, what's the password? I don't even remember the password. I don't know what project that was. I don't work for you anymore. Uh, if you send it to me and uh, pay me $1,000, I'll give you the... <sighs> You're not a professional, you're a beggar, okay? If that's the way you're operating, you're not a pro, you're not somebody I would ever wanna work with. And, and you know, who would? Would you want someone like that working for you? Do you think that's intelligent business? You know, even if somebody, you force somebody down the road to come back and pay you a couple of thousand dollars, you know, you just ruined their impression of you and anybody they ever talk to, you know, is going to tell them, you know, definitely do not work with this person because this is how they operate. So don't get into that. If you're going to lock down your projects and password protect your work, there needs to be a very good security related reason for doing so. And if that security reason does not exist, my suggestion to you is don't lock your work down because in the long run, it's only going to cost you more than you're ever going to make from it. Okay? That's it. That's what I've got for you today. If you like it, if you like what I'm doing, definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm making good stuff all the time. Other than that, man, thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you again real soon. Cheers.